Welcome back to Game On! It's time to introduce the storytellers of the coverage along with myself for the upcoming volleyball tournament. We've got Martin Antonio and Anton Rojas! Yay! Yay. Yeah. No offense, Marza. It's a different feeling when it's Sofia Senoron right. introducing us here on set. Okay. <laughs> very timid, timid and very formal. <laughs> And, uh, hey, I love the outfit though. Oh, He's got some Drake vibes going Dr on. Drake yung nakita mo ako, so <laughs> opera vibes yung nakita ko. Pwede mati ni Idol eh. Leading man eh. By the way guys, <laughs> FYI, this is not their first time here! <laughs> it's not! Okay. But since Anton said that yeah. he likes like uh, the feeling na si Sofia yung nag interview mm -hmm. and sabi rin ni Sofia, siya rin isang fellow storyteller in the volleyball tournament. So I'll let Sofia take the floor and do the questioning for our gentleman here. Sofia, go ahead. I hate Martin so much. Go. Go, the storyteller. Go, go. Hi. So, syempre, galing kayo basketball coverage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. So, ano naman yung pinrepare nyo for the volleyball uh, for the volleyball coverage naman? Are you gonna do the same attack, same everything, or may mga nagbago ba? Well, Hammer and I did our pre-workout. We like to call it our pre-workout. Always. We're in, you know, we warm ourselves up. We do a little bit of research so that once let, the let, season let, starts, we're pumped up and ready to go. Load, truck load of research. Dahil pinag-usapan nga namin kanina nila Martin before, beforehand that this season will be a challenging season. Yep. for the panel because 70% of the athletes graduated throughout the two years that we missed season 96 and uh, well, the first semester of season 97 so graduate yung mga ibang players makikita natin fresher faces yeah. a few holdovers and a lot of new players that will stand out for the NCAA volleyball ano, in hindsight no ganun kalaki yung naputol na season natin mm -hmm. season 95 wow. because we had a lot of graduating players back then. Exactly. Tsaka saktong uh -huh. sakto yung date. February 14 na stop. It's a heartbreak for us. February wow. 13 yung last game. We missed out on the 7-0 CSB going up against the reigning Yon. defending champions Arellano, Arellano Lady Chiefs. So, mer marami tayong na miss out on season 95 na magagandang matchup. But, again, new page tayo ngayon season 97. In many ways, I feel like we are starting all over again. Definitely. It takes me back to 2009 when I first got involved with NCAA Volleyball. I was at the Emilio Aguinaldo Hi. College Gym. I met Coach Roger Goreyab, the legendary mm -hmm. Coach Roger Goreyab. For the very first time, I had my pen and notebook. I sat down with him and talked with him for almost two hours. I didn't know much about NCAA Volleyball, but I learned from him that day and that set the foundation for the future. And yeah. here we are so many years later. Coach Roger Goreab is still the coach of San Sebastian, the very winningest healthy. team. The very winningest healthy. team. Uh, very healthy. Yes, yes, very we gotta send a big strong. shout out to Coach Roger. Si Roger. Oh, oh, and yeah. then he built this team. And karamihan ng mga teams throughout the pandemic, we're, uh, you know, we're just doing home workouts. Key part is how they are training. Kasi kahit na sports, Sophia, you need to be physically prepared to be able to execute your game plan. Yun yung puhunan talaga eh. So, we will see sino yung mga nagpapaya at sino yung mga nag-add on pa for their fundamentals. Kasi, at, yun yung labanan, fundamentals, lalo lalo uh, na bago ng mga teams. At panibagong element pa, yung uh, pagbabalik ng ilan sa mga players who Yan. were heavily part of volleyball oh, but definitely. now are back here in a different role. Mm -hmm. Cara Acevedo, yeah. Player ni Coach Pinanon Roger Goreyab. No, no, oh, yeah, ko pa siya. Pa siya. Mm -hmm. While Coach Roger was handling both Ateneo and San Sebastian, now she's part of the broadcast team. And, so a lot of interesting oh, things yun, yun, are gonna happen. Pinag-uusapan natin, Seska Rakraking was one of the best players mm -hmm. ng San Beda in Season 95. Now, we, she is with us on the panel breaking down yeah. the game. So it's it's a new chapter for the NCAA talaga. Let's not forget, for my NCAA MVP, Shola Alvarez. Mm -hmm. At siyempre, may, may mga pwede pa tayong isali dyan. Pero babalikan ko yung Fave 14 ni Coach Amra. <laughs> oh, hindi ako na heartbreak kasi a heartbreak. na ako eh. It's a heartbreak. Na lang. <laughs> it's a heartbreak. For, for, for the volleyball for the fans. Volleyball fans. Okay. Okay. Ay, kailangan natin. Ay, yeah. Yeah. Di ba? Okay. Okay. Mo, <laughs> this is what I love about these two gentlemen. We throw in one question, and that's enough for them to drop an entire conversation. Man, that's why they are our storytellers dito po. Basketball, Volleyball, NCAA Season 97. There you go. Thank you so much, Anton. Thank you so much, Coach Hammer. Looking forward to the season. <laughs> looking forward to the season. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. And uh, looking forward to all the new student athletes who would step up to the plate yeah. and write their own stories 
this season. Thank you so much, Anton and Coach Hammer, for joining us here. Ngayon, kanina pa namin pinauulit-ulit na bukas na nga po magsisimula June 11 ang volleyball tournament natin. Ito po ang ating full schedule for all of our NCAA and volleyball fans. And there you go. Huwag niyo kalimutang uh, tumutok sa ating mga laban dito sa GTV. And if you are near the venue, dyan po sa Paco Arena, papayagan po natin ang live audience. Okay, that's great news for all of us here. Huwag po kayong mag-hesitate pumunta dyan at manood ng live volleyball action dito sa NCAA.